Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So I literally cleared my schedule to do this video for you because this foundation, I cannot get over how incredible it sounds. So it's a brand newie from Laura Mercier and it's a formula that they are describing as their most groundbreaking formula ever, like in the history of the brand ever. <laughs> so this is called the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. It is uh, quite a long name. And this is a foundation that is supposed to be so perfecting yet so weightless on the skin that it is completely undetectable, undetectable to feel, undetectable to see. Apparently it will just make you look perfect. Now it is loaded with skincare ingredients. Uh, I'm just having a little read on like the information card. 85% skin loving ingredients in the, this one. It's meant to be a buildable medium color. It's, it's meant to blur pores, blur texture, blur everything. Uh, it targets dark circles and spots. It targets dryness. It targets uneven skin texture. It's meant to be cake free, undetectable. It's meant to control shine. It defends against premature aging. Like I just, I feel like I could go on forever. Honestly, pause this video jump over to the Laura Mercier website and just have a little read up about this formula because honestly, are your girls a little shook? So what we're going to be doing today is a full application, demo and wear test. We're going to do a full review. I'm going to show you exactly how it looks on my skin. Is it really undetectable? Is it really going to make me look perfect? I mean, we'll see. We're going to find out, but then I will wear it all day. Um, I did read on here that it does promise uh, a healthier looking complexion that lasts for 12 hours. So you know what? Let's wear it for 12 hours and let's see just how good it is looking by the end of the day. Honestly sounds incredible. And the fact that it's like a brand new, never done before formula. I mean, we need to get this on my face. <laughs> All right, so packaging wise, it's honestly beautiful. It's a really beautiful frosted glass bottled. We've got a pump applicator. You will be getting 30 mil of product in this one. Now, obviously here in Australia, Laura Mercier is available at Mecca stores. I mean, we, we know we love Mecca so much, right? And it does come in 30 different shades. Now they did also send over a brush with this one. And the recommendation is to apply it with this brush. So when, when I'm told what to do, I can do that. Oh, the brush is pretty. Oh, it's like a little kabuki. Oh, that, oh, okay, that's soft. Now, application directions. Apply to clean skin with the brush. Begin with one palm. Oh, because only a very minimal amount of product is required to um, achieve your desired coverage. Okay, we've got one pump there. I guess I'm just gonna dot this first and then we'll start blending it. Oh my God. Okay, that is insanely weightless on the skin. It almost feels like, a serum. So I'm just working this all over the skin. I'm sort of testing like stippling motions and also swirling motions. Um, certainly on a brand new, like clean brush, uh, one pump is definitely not enough for me. I will straight up say that, but it's bizarre. It feels like a skincare serum. Like it doesn't feel like a foundation. Okay, let's try this side now. It is definitely like a medium buildable style coverage, but I wouldn't say, I don't know at this point that it's like particularly perfecting on the skin. I'll have to have a really close look um, to, you know, sort of let you know my thoughts. But it's the, the weirdest thing about this that I'm noticing straight up is it's like bizarrely thin. Like it definitely, it doesn't feel like I have got any foundation on my skin at all. Like it feels like I'm moving skincare, like a skincare, like a really lightweight skincare serum around with my brush. And it's definitely like a bizarre kind of experience because you know what you expect to feel when you apply a foundation? Um, I'm not getting that at all. Okay, so I'm working it into the skin and building up coverage with this one. Uh, one pump is definitely not enough for me, but at the same time, like if I was to mix this with like a moisturizer, um, and spread it all over the skin. It probably would be beautiful as like an everyday natural sort of looking foundation. Yeah, it's it's a very, very natural finish on the skin. It hardly looks like you're wearing a foundation at all. Like it's kind of bizarre. Like I can see that my skin is perfected and I can see that it's got a little bit of coverage, but you, you just, you would never know that I was wearing a foundation. Like it's actually a kind of unreal. I would call this one light to medium buildable coverage, probably closer to light coverage, but it's definitely very perfecting and it definitely looks very natural and it's, it's undetectable. It is absolutely undetectable on the skin. Before I actually go in and build up the coverage further, I just wanted to show you what it looks like on my skin. Very, 
very pretty, but still very natural. I would definitely say it looks undetectable and it feels undetectable. It is insanely lightweight. Like I cannot tell at all that I'm wearing it. Like it feels like a skincare serum. Like it's actually kind of odd. Um, it'd be one of those foundations where you would get to the end of the day and you'd be like, oh, I forgot, I completely forgot that I was even wearing makeup. I wouldn't say that it's particularly pore blurring or particularly perfecting uh, just from, you know, like a first impression and seeing it up close. Like it's definitely like a light to medium coverage. Like you can still see sort of my freckles on my nose and things like that. But at the same time, like for a natural foundation, it just looks beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I might try and build up the coverage just a little bit. Maybe we'll try it with a sponge. Um, and we'll see what kind of results we get then. Okay, I've taken one pump on my foundation sponge. This is our Pro Perfecting sponge. And I'm just gonna start to sort of build up the coverage with this. I do find that it's a lot easier to build up coverage um, and certainly with foundations using a sponge as opposed to a brush. Oh, okay, we've got medium coverage now. Oh, that looks pretty. Yeah, that has really built up the coverage and that was only an additional pump with the sponge. Um, I'd probably be happy to leave that now. Like, like obviously I will do concealer and whatnot, but yeah, that extra pump that has taken it there. And I would say confidently after that, if you want more coverage, use a foundation sponge rather than a brush because it really sort of packs the pigment on and it builds up that coverage really quite quickly. So what I'm gonna do now is just chuck on the rest of my makeup. I'm keeping things really natural today, uh, but I will be back in just a second to show you what my skin is looking like then. All right guys, so this is what my skin is looking like now that I've got the rest of my makeup on. So I did put a little concealer underneath my eyes, tiny bit on my nose. I've powdered everything down. We've got bronzer, blush. Ah, uh, I gotta tell ya, it looks incredible. Like, now that we've got the concealer on, it's definitely medium coverage. Uh, but at the same time, it is just so undetectable on the skin. Like, it really does feel completely weightless and it really does look, you know, like my skin looks perfected, but not like I have actually got a foundation on. I would also say it is doing a pretty damn good job at minimizing the texture on my cheeks. My under eyes look really smooth. My forehead looks really smooth. We might have a tiny little bit of settling uh, just in my smile lines around my mouth there, but everything else, like I've honestly got nothing negative to say. It just feels so crazy lightweight and uh, <laughs> not gonna lie, so far I'm really, really liking it. Here's my skin up close so that you can see really weightless, really undetectable on the skin. Like I just feel like it makes your skin look really pretty and flawless, but it's still very natural. It's not heavy, it's not cakey. I don't feel like it's clogging my pores. Doesn't feel like I am wearing this much makeup, that's for sure. I could easily mistaken it for actually not having any foundation on. Like it, it just feels like skincare. It's actually kind of bizarre. Um, I feel like I've had really good luck testing foundations lately. Like I feel like I've had a good run this month of being like, oh my God, I love this one. I love this one. I love this one. Maybe I've been picking and choosing the right formulas for my skin. I don't know. But this one so far, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm really happy. So yeah, let's start our actual wear tests now. Like I said, I'm going to be wearing this one for 12 hours for you guys. So I will see you in another six hours and then I will see you later on tonight when I'm ready to take off my makeup, which will be probably even almost 13 hours. Um, yeah, we'll see what it is looking like then. All right, guys. So we are back with our midday six hour check-in with this foundation. And honestly, looking at my skin in the mirror, I am just not at all mad. It is... <laughs> a really, really pretty finish. I do have a little bit of shine coming through, like a little bit of oil, I'm um, just sort of mostly through the T-zone and on the side of my nose. Tiny little bit on the forehead there, really nothing on the chin. But even with that in mind, like it just, it still looks as perfect as it did earlier. Still very flawless, still very filtered and like incredibly, incredibly lightweight on the skin. Like I honestly run the risk of actually rubbing my face because it just feels so insanely lightweight like there's just no makeup on there at all here's a little close-up of what it is looking like you can see my chin there uh, we've got no caking we've got no settling everything just looks really smooth still i might have lost is there like a tiny bit of patching just on either side of my cheeks i have been like leaning on my hands so Maybe with this one, you, you might get a little bit of transfer. It hasn't oxidized either, I will say. Like, I'm not noticing any difference in the shade or anything. The fine lines on my forehead are still looking very smooth. Like, 
Laura Mercier, this is really, really nice. I'm not going to lie, I didn't expect it to look this nice um, because it, obviously the instructions were, you, you know, you only need one pump to get the desired amount of coverage and I ended up using like four or five pumps um, and it was very, very thin and very fluidy. So I was like, mm, is this going to end up splitting? Is it going to look feathery on the skin? Because sometimes one of those really, really thin, lightweight serum style foundations, they can look a little feathery and like they can sort of split on the skin. Uh, but it has just held up so perfectly. Like it just looks, yeah, straight up, like a little bit of shine. I wouldn't say it's, you know, anything tragic. Like I don't, I definitely don't feel like I need to touch up or anything. Um, but straight up you guys like it is a really really pretty formula and just ridiculously lightweight like it's kind of one of those things where you have to actually try it to understand what i mean i feel like i understand what they're saying by it's like their most groundbreaking formula ever because i don't i've never actually worn a foundation that feels this lightweight on the skin but yes that is where we are at so this is six hours i'm gonna come back in another 12 hours and we're gonna see what it is looking like then um but I, I'm really, really impressed. <laughs> I keep yawning. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. So we are back with our 12 hour check-in now. Um, I'm still kind of shook at this formula, you guys. Hang on. Now that I'm in these studio lights, let me have a real close look. Does this look so perfect on my skin? Like, obviously there's a lot of shine happening through the T-zone. Uh, my nose has definitely seen better days. Honestly, everywhere else, like if you were to discount my nose, I feel like everywhere else I wouldn't even need to touch up. But bear in mind, I haven't actually touched this up at all. I haven't blotted. I haven't reapplied powder. And that is typically what I do do when I do these foundation reviews because I want to show you like, because if you get stuck somewhere and you can't touch up and you don't have anything available, like you need to really know how something like this is going to perform like before you invest your money into it because it's quite expensive, right? So that's... I don't know. That's the deal on why I don't actually do touch-ups during the day when I do these foundation reviews. But I will say, guys, well, there might be a tiny bit of splitting on my top lip and maybe a little tiny bit of featheriness kind of just around my jaw, which does, I mean, that does tend to happen because, you know, you, you're talking and you're sort of stretching and you're moving the skin as you're, you know, I mean, we're cracking a lot of jokes. We're laughing a lot throughout my day. <laughs> um, but other than that, it just looks so freaking perfect. Forehead, perfect. Cheeks, perfect. Um, the only bit that's like a little bit less than perfect is around my mouth down here. And obviously the shininess of my nose. Now we will touch it up as part of this last check-in. But I just want to zoom you in so that you can see this. Just have a really close look at how it is looking on my skin. I feel like there's like the tiniest bit of splitting up here. Maybe like a little bit of feathering. I've had no further transfer of it, um, you know, on either sides of my face. I've definitely like, I almost feel like you can see the shape of my knuckles from me, like leaning on my knuckles like this. Um, but it's not like terrible transfer. It's not like, oh my God, like that's transferred so much. Like it's, it's pretty tame, I would say. Um, maybe a little settling around my nose, but that happens to me with pretty much every single foundation. I think it's just like the shape of my nostrils. Like it's, She's just, it's, it's how I'm built. It's, it tends to be what happens. Forehead looks literally perfect. And honestly, like I said, my cheeks look crazy perfect. Like, and even my under eyes. Now I do have a concealer on under there, but they're so matte. Like it's, it's actually crazy. Um, I, I am really, really, really impressed with how this formula has worn. Uh, let's do a quick touch up and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So I'm of course going to be using Anakia Joy Cosmetics pressed powder to touch up. I mean, let's be real. You'll never see me touch up with anything else. Probably ever again. <laughs> it is what it is. And picking it up on one of our perfecting puffs. I'm just going to touch up one side of my face so that you can see the difference here. All right. So here is the foundation touched up with the setting powder. Honestly, looks brand new. It looks like it did when I freshly applied it. Nothing really transferred off while I was touching it up. It just looks smooth. It looks blurred. It looks perfected. And it still feels like insanely lightweight, like I am not wearing a foundation at all. Um, but yeah, I wanted to give you a side by side. So here it is before touching up. And then here it is after touching up. Like, I mean, both sides look pretty good. This side looks literally like it's been edited in Photoshop. But even this side, like the, the cheeks and everything, like for 12 hours, 
It's just really, really impressive. So I'm going to say, you guys, the verdict on this one is it's pretty damn good. Obviously, it is a little bit pricier um, and it is lower in coverage. So certainly if you're looking for something that is going to be like a full coverage, like one pump, full coverage, glam for at nighttime kind of a vibe, probably this is not going to be the one that you are going to want to go for. This is more of like a lightweight, like makeup meets skincare, fluidy, natural finish, Barely there, undetectable uh, kind of a foundation. But I gotta say, I I'm gonna be reaching for this. I'm I mean probably every day. We are about to leave for Europe. By the time you watch this video, we will already be over there. But I've got four more days to test this, and if I get the results on every other day that are just as good as the results that I got today, this is this is coming with me. Like it is absolutely coming with me because, like untouched up, touched up. Like you just. They've done a really good job with this formula. Now, I obviously do still need to give you the verdict on whether it breaks me out or whether I notice any differences with different primers. And sometimes even like when your skin sort of adjusts to a new formula, it can react differently over time. So obviously any updates at all, I'll either pop them in the description bar or I'll pop them down in the comments below. But as a straight up, like off the bat first impression, I really, really like this and I definitely approve this formula uh, certainly for my skin type. I've not actually watched any other reviews or seen how it performs on anyone else's skin type. So dry skin, normal skin, combo skin. Uh, but as an oily skin girl and as a textured skin girl and as someone who is particularly fussy about how foundations feel on my skin, I'm really blown away with how lightweight this is and how undetectable it is. Like it's just, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Like there's really nothing else to say. <laughs> but I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Please, if you've got any other questions about this formula or you want to know, I don't know, or even mixing. Oh my God, mixing this with like a really intense full coverage foundation would be a very interesting experiment. I'm going to try that. I'm, I'm going to get back to you on that and I, I will try that. I might even try that tomorrow. But if you do have any other questions about the formula or the wear test or anything, um, please be sure to pop them down in the comments below. But I love you guys heaps. I hope this video helped any purchasing decisions you were thinking about making, maybe. Or I at least hope that it helped answer some questions for you. But I love you guys a million, a million, a million times over. And have a great day or a great night, depending on what time you're watching this. And I will catch you all in my next video.